Mommy, look at Mommy, hon. Yay! <laughs> Good idea. Let's uh, put him in the manger and take his picture. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be cute. It's his first Christmas. Come on. Okay. Just put him in there. Come on, Connor. Oh, oh it's so cute. <laughs> Come here, honey. Look at Mommy. Oh, my parents are going to just love this. Come here. Oh, Mommy's little angel. So cute. <laughs> here, now you can play with the nice little baby. Do <gasps> the worst thing I ever done. Hey, you scared. <laughs> honey, honey, mommy is very, very sorry. Whoa. Someday, when I return here from I don't know, somewhere. How'd the big outdoor display at your father's house come along? We still got a ton of work left to do. Dad's going totally out of control with the lights this year. He's using so much electricity, the prison had to switch over to lethal injection for the holidays. <laughs> well, it's worth it. I tell everybody, go see the Battaglia house at Christmas time. It'll knock your socks off. Two things the Italians know about, religion and electricity. <laughs> You hear about St. Stephens? Oh, uh, you mean the vandalism at the nativity scene? Vandalism? Yeah. Some sicko smashed up that statue of baby Jesus. <laughs> Old Tom's talking about it. What the paper is, it's a hate crime. Woo, Boston University. We are not buying football tickets from them. We are loyal to the fighting Irish. No, Dad. They have an opening in a psychology class. What does that got to do with football? Nothing. <laughs> Just to, you know, I've been thinking about what I want to do with my life, and I thought I'd take a psych class and see how I like it. Gee, a career buttoning into other people's personal business and telling them what to do. What drew you to that? <laughs> 300 bucks? How are you going to pay for that? Well, don't you think I thought of that? Why do you think I chose BU? They take credit cards. Huh. Well, that was John Helen. Seems your brother Jimmy had another aneurysm. Great, on Christmas. Thank you, Jimmy. It's fine, and I'm sure he'll be so touched by your concern. We gotta get down to Orlando and help out for a couple of weeks. Oh, we have to go to Florida for Christmas? Well, that's another thing, hon. Y'all have Helen kind of asked that you not come. I mean, you and your Uncle Jimmy don't exactly get along. Well, we argue a little bit, but that's no big deal. He threatened to pull out his feeding tube if you came. <laughs> we better get packing, hon. Another aneurysm, for crying out loud. When will my idiot brother learn to calm down? Don't worry, honey. We're gonna have a nice Christmas in January, okay? Okay. You gonna be all right? Fine, why? Ah, you know, you're such a holiday junkie. Your parents leaving you alone for Christmas and all. <laughs> Me? I'll be fine. Okay. Actually, it'll be great, because now I can do Christmas my way. Be no one to tell me to stop decorating or to turn the Christmas music off, and I can watch all the Christmas movies I want. Miracle on 34th Street, It's a Wonderful Life, The Grinch, Home Alone. See this? Religious display desecrated by unknown hate group. <laughs> Sickening. I hope the real Jesus comes back and kicks their butt. <laughs> I finally worked it out with Lydia. We get Bethany Christmas Eve and Christmas morning. Oh, that's great. <laughs> so how about we come over at 7? Come over? Do you want to do this at my apartment? Well, come on, I don't have any furniture. How about the three of us have a nice warm Christmas Eve dinner and spend the night, wake up and open presents in our bathrobes? Doesn't that sound nice? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, you look a little glassy-eyed. Did you eat something here? <laughs> no, it's just... I got a little sore throat, and oh yeah, my childhood died. <laughs> Come here. I, I think you better look at this. Well, let's see. Wallet, gum, tissues, tiny head with halo on it. <laughs> well, I bet there's a story that goes with that. <laughs> I, I didn't mean it. It was, it was an accident. I was taking. Sure, Connor at the manger and it broke off. 
Denise, why are you carrying that thing around in your purse? Well, I panicked. I mean, I didn't realize I had it until I was in the car making my getaway. Well, couldn't you just, like, you know, toss it out the window? It's the head of our savior. Well, relax. I don't think he felt anything. It was a nice, clean break. Oh. Brian, this is not funny. Okay, okay. You won't take my head off. Check it out. After 11 tries, I finally passed my driving test. I got my license! I'll never forget what Mr. Tavalio said to me after I passed. He said, Jesse, it's just not funny anymore. Are you gonna stand around patting yourself on the back all day? Are you gonna get back to work? Uh, <coughs> listen, Ma, now that I got my license, I'm gonna drive down to Baton Rouge, see Dad for Christmas. You really had me going there for a second. I'm serious. I already called. It's all set. <laughs> Ma, I know you hate Dad. I know that he treated you like crap and he never paid a dime of child support, but he's my dad. And I've never disobeyed you before. I mean, not so that you'd find out about it anyway. <laughs> but the time has come. Today, I am a man. Wow, Jess, good for you. You really stood up to her. Thanks. I'm just gonna go change my shorts. <laughs> I heard about the attack on your church, Father. My sympathies. Oh, thank you, Steve. I've got some theories about several secret organizations who might be behind it. So far, my research indicates they're fictional. <laughs> All of these people. Where's it stop? First it's Jesus, and then... Well, I guess that's as high as you can go. <laughs> <coughs> hey! Those cough drops are a buck fifty. Uh, Marge, I don't have any cash on me. We accept MasterCard, Visa, and American Express. <laughs> you expect me to put a dollar fifty on my credit card? No, it's a ten buck minimum. You have to buy a hat. <laughs> Fine. Hey, you look uh, awful. Well, so do you. Yeah. You know, I was up all night last night till four a.m. working on my dad's display. I don't even live there anymore, and I'm up there every night, stringing up lights, setting up speakers, mucking out the petting zoo. <laughs> no more. You know, I got a nice little bonus from the newspaper. I decided I'm gonna spend it on my own display for my apartment building. Look, tonight, you have to go shopping with me after work. Maybe you should just go to bed. <sighs> no way! I'm not gonna miss my shopping. That's my favorite part of the holidays. Well, guess who missed the last few payments on their credit card? Oh! No, Marge, I need my card. I haven't paid for my psychology class yet. Oh, let's see. Your education, a $25 reward from the credit card company. <laughs> oh, what the heck. It's Christmas. <laughs> I need the money. Don't feel bad. She did the same thing to me last month. <laughs> I believe that her exact words were, where is your God now, Padre? Hey, Betsy, you're cool with these Christmas plans, right? Well, I mean, it's better than hanging out with my mom watching TV while she yells, Who cares about your red nose? I want my life back. <laughs> okay, but you gotta tell me what kind of stuff to do, because I didn't even start celebrating Christmas till I moved out on my own. Really? Yeah. My parents were hippies. And we did this um, neo-pagan winter solstice thing. Basically, we all walked around the house with these candles on our heads while my mom sang, Where is the light, O barren earth? I had fun shopping with you today. I know. <laughs> Finally wore you down. What? I wore you down. You like me now. You didn't want to, and you probably swore you never would, but you like me now. Don't do this. I can't 
help it. I've been waiting a long time for this, Bethany. I'm happy. So how much do you like me? I changed my mind. I don't like you. <laughs> Too late. Cat's out of the bag. Did you get me a really expensive Christmas present? <laughs> Who am I? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Listen, I, I want you to sneak over to the church tonight and, and put the head back. I can't go to midnight mass with this on my conscience. Okay. Hey, you know what's really good for that? Cooking a big old fashioned Christmas dinner for me at my house. Yeah, and tonight I, I got my own dinner to cook. Please. Bethany and I are finally getting along, and I really want it to be nice for her. I'll pay you for it. What, you want to hire me like I'm your servant? I'll give you 50 bucks. Turkey or goose? <laughs> hey! Merry Christmas! Carrie, what are you doing? You should be home in bed. I was. Especially since you're in your pajamas. I was going to lie to bed, feeling sick and lonely and depressed about the holidays and not being able to take my psychology class. And then it happened. What happened? I remembered it was Christmas. And suddenly I felt happy and buoyant and giddy. And I'm not sick anymore. I've imbued with the spirit of Christmas. Uh -huh. I'm guessing it came in a little green bottle with a dose cap. Are we outside? No. My landlord wouldn't let me decorate the building, but I already bought all the stuff. Oh, uh, good for you. That's what this season's all about. Screw the landlord. Harry. <laughs> What are you doing? Sit down, will you? No, I'm helping. And watching the roof spin. And spin, and spin. Carrie, sit down. I'm in on the sofa. <laughs> do something. I can't get her to go to the emergency. She's sick. Her ankle might be broken. And she keeps pointing at airplanes and yelling, there's Santa. Hey, there's no fireplace here. Santa's gonna have to be busted like the pizza guy. You gotta help me take her to the hospital. I can't. Scott and Bethany are coming over. Hey, I, I gotta stay here and cook anyway. I'll explain it to them. Go. All right, okay. All right, Carrie, let's go. Well, I'm not going to the hospital. Oh, no, 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 no. We're just going to drive around and look at all the lights. Pretty, pretty lights. I love lights. <laughs> Good job! Jeez! Steve, what are you doing, huh? Jumping out of people like that? I've appointed myself special manger cop. In the event of a crime, I'm legally empowered to run for the real cops. <laughs> You might as well come clean. Who are you working for, the Illuminati? Steve, I don't have time to explain this to you, all right? Just give me the head so I can put it back and get out of here. <laughs> I don't think so, perp. Steve, give me the head. Joseph alone, or try to even them all up. Hey, what's going on here? My friend's been here for over an hour. An entire hour? Yeah. Why didn't you say so? I'll run and tell the gunshot victim you're being inconvenienced. So now you're gonna get snotty? All right, you wanna play it that way? We'll just sit quietly and wait our turn. <laughs> Hi. I'm a big fan of your work. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, they don't have a lot of smoking in here. Get bent. <laughs> hey, 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 come on. It's a hospital. Why don't you try to take it out of my hand? See what happens to you. Sound like a plan? Big time? <laughs> oh, my God. Are you a bad elf? <laughs> What, this? Nah, no. I just got into a little disagreement with the manager at the mall. He thought it was a good idea not to have a pencil shoved in his eye. I disagreed. Well, Scott and 
and Bethany still haven't shown up. You're supposed to pick her up at Lydia's an hour ago. Man trouble, Stretch? <laughs> Hey, 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 what's the matter? All I wanted was a little Christmas. And now look at me. I'm abandoned, injured, sick, poor, and my pajamas itch. You want it to be all right? No, it won't. And you know why? Because I'm a hopelessly needy, perpetual adolescent who obviously can't even function on her own. Oh, Carrie, come on, that's not true. Everybody else is moving on. Everybody, Denise has a baby, Shannon's in a real relationship, you got a new job, even Jesse got his driver's license. But me, I can't even get it together to take a stupid class. I know that there's a psychological term for this, but I'll never know it. <laughs> I'm stuck, and I'll always be stuck. I'm a pathetic, boring, neurotic loser. Make love to me. <laughs> What? Come on, you heard me. I want to do something really stupid. <laughs> At least it'll force some change in my life. Please? No. <laughs> and tomorrow you're going to be very thankful that I'm a gentleman. It's all the stuff running out of my nose, isn't it? <laughs> Not entirely. We all pray for the swift arrest of those who desecrated our nativity scene. <laughs> now, um, I debated telling you about this, but I'm afraid that earlier tonight, the Virgin Mary was also attacked. <laughs> what do you say we cut a deal? Let the brunette take the fall. Lydia. Shannon, the most incredible thing happened. Uh-huh. I went to pick up Bethany, and Lydia and I got to talking, and I don't know. Maybe it was the reminiscing, the eggnog, or just the spirit of the season, but suddenly we realized we still love each other. I give it a week. Hey. <laughs> Sorry I didn't call. You know how it is. Well, I know one thing. You're telling me this in church to avoid a scene. <sighs> Shannon, I'd like to think there's a part of you deep inside that's, that's big enough to be happy for me. Uh, let us all offer each other the sign of peace. Hey, what did they say you're sick with? Strap. Kiss him. Sure. <laughs> Body of Christ. Body of Christ. <laughs> Denise, what are you waiting for me to say? Here comes the choo-choo. Father, I am very sorry, but I cannot take the sacrament with this sin on my soul. What sin? The nativity. It was me. I'm the hate group. Look. Good Lord, Denise. No, I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean anything by it. it it's, it's just I, I went to take a picture of Connor in, in the manger, and, 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 you know, one thing led to another, and it was just sort of a, a crazy prank in the beginning, and the, see. Oh, isn't that adorable? Look at the way he's... Uh, Denise, this is not a, no. a good time to discuss this. Uh, let me take it to the back and I'll hide it. Hmm? Okay. Oh. <laughs> it's a Christmas miracle! <laughs> Shan. Yeah. How are you doing? 
I don't know. It all happened so fast. I really thought I had something with Scott. But you're sure that you're broken up now? Like for good? Oh, yes. Good. Because I've been dying to tell you how much I hated him. <gasps> Me too. Really? You guys hated him? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He was so smug and superficial. The way he wore his hair, he might as well be a chick. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not going to waste these Christmas presents I bought him, oh. so. Merry yeah. Christmas. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, listen. I told everybody about your psychology class, so we all chipped in. Oh, you got me the $300? Yeah. Almost. We got 87.50. I mean, we were kind of counting on Scott to pick up the slack, but uh, I got you something else. Merry Christmas. Oh, my God. That's the. Would you? Yeah, sure. Have a good time with your father? Yeah, we had a real nice day together. He's doing well for himself. I sat there all day, looking at all the nice stuff that he had, thinking about how he never made child support payments. So once he passed out, I grabbed everything that wasn't nailed down and took off. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Ma. Oh, I should have never doubted you. You've always been such a good boy. 